Hello, hello everybody on YouTube. This time I'm doing a commentary episode. This is Prototype Kaito playing Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, I love playing this game. Okay. In case people have been watching, which I'm pretty sure nobody has, considering even though I have 709 subscribers, not one per- I think only like one person watched. And that's my buddy in Brazil, Claudia. But other than that, this this is one of the best games I've ever played. You know, I actually found something off. I found something that's completely hilarious in this game. Check this out. Max stats. Permanently set all your attributes such as HP and MP to their maximum value. Once the max stats command hasn't been applied, it is not possible to return to the previous state. So take care when saving data. That, pr that pretty much means you become Sephiroth. That's the ultimate cheat. So if you click max stats, you automatically become Sephiroth. Except for your materia being uh, maxed out. The only thing it does, it gives you 9,000 and everything else, MP, HP, and um, all your attacks do 9,000 damage. The only problem is you cannot get limit breaks anymore. I mean, you can, but you have to have extensive damage done to you in order to, for you to use your limits. So, if you're playing the app version, which is what I'm doing, do not click that unless you like... If you like seeing the limit breaks, I suggest you do not click that. But if you've beaten the game, at least like how I've done it, I've beaten this game twice in my entire life. So I have another data that has this. I just wanted to test it out. This plate, this data is just for YouTube only. Which is insane because I love the other, I love the other mode that I have it on. I'm, I'm actually gonna just go through the game completely. I got the E skills like hands down but nothing beats the real thing I'm not gonna change Tifa's name in my other file though I have her name switched to Claudia cause she cosplays as Tifa she does it pretty well in case she hears this I'm complimenting her as well I'm not doing this live because I figured what the fuck no one's gonna watch this thing live I'm sticking to the regular storyline, and I'm gonna give it to Tifa. Hell yeah, I drink. <laughs> like he just sits all casual. It's funny though, the first time I ever played this game, I actually thought Tifa and Barrett were a couple and Marlene was Tifa's daughter. But after a while playing the game, what you call it, after playing the game several times, I realized, oh, she's Cloud's girl, not Barrett. Over time, it was actually the, um, that was that Dion's, um, was it Dion or Dino? I think it's Dion. You know, the other guy with the gun arm. That's his daughter. In my last date, I gave the flower to Marlene, and I guess in this one, because it's just mostly for the fans, I'm giving it to Tifa. Not that it really matters, it just adds dialogue. I know my last, the first episode I think I did, I don't know if I actually had sound effect on it. If I did, cool. If not, I didn't. Here's actually the crazy thing I've learned about playing Final Fantasy VII. When you leave Midgar, you tend to miss it. Like, you tend to miss Midgar. Like, you know, how the scene looks, how... Uh, I don't know how... To, like, most of the nostalgia happens in, um, in Midgar City. If, if you go to some other place, it's like, it's not as memorable. Because all our journeys started in Midgar. Oh! Imagine that in 3D and you have 3D goggles. Imagine um, Biggs, fl wait, yeah, Biggs, 
flying right through the TV. That's gotta be fucking like crazy if that should happen. I might click fast on the dialogue. I'm just trying to kind of speed through this. Damn, Barrett doesn't take a fucking hint. He does not care about Shinra, and he doesn't give a shit about Soldier, and doesn't give a shit about Avalanche. One thing I don't actually understand is that, um, how is it that in this world they're aware of the, 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 uh, the state of Texas when they're on planet Gaia? Gaia only has three continents and the rest is filled with water. Yet, surprisingly, it's technically Earth. But if I do, it's because I got something to say. Seven years. You know what's funny though? Given their timeline, it seems like not everything was done like longer. Like everything is like too early. If I recall, I think in the regular PlayStation version, they don't have mouths. But if they do, then they do. I I'm guessing I'm probably. I probably because I haven't played the PS uh, PS1 version in a while since my laptop got fried. upgraded my my new pause I don't I no longer have a cigar model I now have a box model which is awesome I don't know if there's actually a uh, any 3D pictures where it shows Tifa wearing that outfit. I mean, she looks good in that. I, I shouldn't really say that because this is around the time they're like, wait, hold on, no. I think they're still, no, wait. I don't remember what their age is currently because they said this is seven years ago. So I don't know how old they would be. If they're technically kids, I shouldn't be saying Tifa looks good. That makes me seem like a pivot. I tried playing the song on piano, but I, um, what you call it, my fingers lock up, so I might miss a few notes. Then again, the only song I was able to play is the main theme song for Metal Gear on a saxophone. But, like I said, that, that hasn't been, like, since, like, freshman year. But I've been trying to learn other video game songs to play on an instrument. Tifa, you already got your wish. You just have to. Run, you, it just takes up to like what the third disc for you to realize that shit already happened. Jeez, don't you remember Nibelheim? Which finally I figured out how it's pronounced. It's Nibelheim, not Nibelheim. Oh, that's a good new pause. He joined... Wait, he, yeah, that's right. He, he joined Soldier, but he never made Soldier. He was just still a Shinra guard. Fifteen thousand. I'd, I'd be happy to get that much at least, because... Especially in this economy, that would pay. That would pay like for my plane ticket. Three grand. <laughs> what? Are they telling me that they pay for elementary school in this world? What the fuck? President must be greedy as fuck. 
Well, then again, he's killing the planet for his own pocket. I never did like that sleeping theme song. I don't know why, like, it, it kind of freaks me out. Mostly because of, when I heard it in the Shinra building, when you get sent to the lockup, then you see, like, d a dead body. Oh, yeah. 
D. Uh, the intense part needs volume. Just be enough credit. She's kind of a cute one. Damn it! Fucking touch screen. Tifa, come on. And putting your hands behind your back covering your ass is not gonna do anything. How can I jump from a moving train and not get hurt? The leader never goes last, the leader always goes Okay, just fuck yeah, that's hurt. I could just do some farming right now. I could just go around killing enemies, but I'm on a little bit of a timetable here on this, um... You know what? We gotta farm a little bit. Just to get my XP and everything else up. No, shit. I wasn't trying to get... No. You get lightning. You get ice. And she gets... Netflix for life. No. That's bullshit. Okay. Let's do a little Unless I'm 
really injured. I don't think something that happens if you keep going down this um this path. I think something should happen. Someone tells me that like the Turks may be waiting there. Or enemies. Waste of time. I'll just farm what I can. Yep, there we go. Oh, great. Launchers. Ah, slow. Come on. Get the molasses out your asses. And stop hitting my girl! Save point after a long journey, that's when I started a whole new video. So, the next episode it will take place in the uh, Mako reactor. working. It's 91 degrees here in Florida, so you can imagine I need this shit on. It doesn't matter which path you take, it takes you to the same one.
Thank you.